Hello and welcome to another Photo Solutions Market online tutorial and today we are going to be talking about the brand new MVP player banner series. Now this is a brand new series like I said of player banners that are completely different than the ones that we've always had with our game day line. So this is a different line not like the game day. Uh, these banners and we'll go through them here uh, are actually laid out with two images rather than one and they're also laid out on a horizontal plane. Now one thing that you're going to notice is different right off the bat when you open up your package uh, packaged files are these are no longer PSD files. What we've done is we've gone to a layered TIFF file which actually allows us to have a smaller file size for transfer but you still get all of the same functionality in Photoshop as you had with the PSD file. It's just no longer as big of an actual file. The other thing I want to touch on before we get into the designs of this is to notice this is laid out at a 4 foot by 6 foot in inches at a resolution of 100. Now a lot of people uh, freak out about this if they're going to be doing prints because they're used to having a resolution of 300 for their printing but please understand that you will be able to print anything smaller than a 4 foot by 6 foot on a actual photo print. So for example, I've printed these as 20 by 30s to show at some of our trade shows, and they look beautiful. Not losing any kind of resolution, there's no pixelization. They look just as good as prints as they do on the full-size 4 foot by 6 foot vinyl banners that these are actually laid out on. So, that's two things just to get off uh, before we get started here. Uh, but let's get into these designs and show you how they function. Uh, if you're new to any of the uh, Spotlight Photographics designs, uh, you will notice that all of our uh, templates have layers. So we have not broken anything uh, or, or merged anything. We've kept everything broken apart. Uh, this allows you to move elements around, change things. For example, uh, on this template here, which is the MVP Ace, you can see this is actually laid out to be for uh, tennis. So it's got the tennis court in the background. But it's also got this circle right here that's behind this player. Say, for example, you didn't want that circle. We just go ahead and uh, what I'm doing here is right clicking and it's going to show me what's underneath my mouse at this time. And you can see there's the middle circle. So I'm going to hit that and it automatically selects it over here on the layer. Now you could also come over to your layers and you could search for that as well. I always like doing the right click method because it's going to show me exactly what's underneath my mouse. So at this point we see the middle circle. If you don't want that, just turn it off by clicking on the eyeball. And now it's gone. You could also move it around. So we'll turn it back on and once we've got it selected, we can drag that around and move it to a different part of the poster if we want. So you have a lot of flexibility with all of your layers. Same thing with the smoke in the front. If you wanted only the smoke to be on the left side, not the right, just turn off your uh, bottom smoke right, and there it goes. So all of the things, like I said, are in layers. That's going to be the same throughout all of these. But the biggest question I always have is how do I change the colors? So what we're going to do in this tutorial is go through all 10 of the new designs, and I'm going to show you how to change colors on every single template. Uh, most of our tutorials on our website, you'll notice, um, they only show you one type of template. They don't give you tutorials on all of the templates. So for this brand new series, I thought it would be a good idea to show you every single template. So if you've got a template that you don't see yet in the tutorial, just know that they're coming because I have them all loaded up here at the top, all 10. So like I said, we're going to start on the Ace. And this one doesn't have a whole lot of color changing in it. Uh, you can actually change the color of the court. That's something new. Uh, obviously, if you want it to be green, like most courts are, you can leave it green. Or you can double-click right on this circle here on the layer, and that's going to bring up your hue and saturation bar. Okay. Now, you can see it's set on green here, but you can slide that bar over, and you can change it to whatever colors you want. So we can go to blue, we can go to purple, we can go to pink, we can go to red. You can change it all the way across the spectrum of colors. You can also up the saturation. For example, if we get all the way over here to the red and we want that to be a little deeper, you can drag the saturation bar up. And that's going to increase the saturation of the color. So there it is, red. Okay, so that's how to change the court color on this. The other colors we have are these light beams. You'll see here. These are also going to use 
a hue and saturation. So I'm going to right click over this one and you're going to see hue and saturation. Same deal here, you can just move the bar and change the color. Now, the one thing that we're going to do here is I'm going to change this to green. And I'm going to note the fact that this is set at 113. Every single light burst on this poster is going to be the exact same uh, um, features. So if I come down here, I remember 113, come down here to this one, change this one to 113 just by typing it in. Now that's changed to the exact same one. And here's the one below it, 113. Now we've changed those over to green. Okay. Now with the text, very simple on these. All we're going to do is come down to the name, make sure we're on our character tab, so it has all of our character uh, things in it. We've got our uh, the font is listed up here. If you have not installed your fonts to your, to your computer yet, you need to have them installed before you open Photoshop and the template. Make sure you install them on your computer first. But you can see here our color. All we have to do is simply double click on the color and now we can select the color that we want. We'll change that over to green. And it's automatically going to keep all of the things here. Same thing with this one down here. Select the word senior. We'll change that to green. Now to change text, it's just as simple as going over to your text tool and highlighting the word that you want to type. And then you can change it just by typing. Now if you want to stretch that, what you can do is a free transform, which is on a PC, is Control T. And then you can just drag this down and drag this over. So changing the text is very easy on all of this. So that's the ACE template. So let's go over here and let's move on to Fast Break. Fast Break is our basketball template. You can see the basketball court here in the background. And this is going to use the same functionality as the, as the template previous to this one. So if we want to change the colors, let's start here at the bottom. You can see I have a background color here with a hue and saturation applied to it. So we can double click on that circle once again and we can change this hue and saturation to whatever color we want. And that's going to change this background glow. So let's change this template. Let's check, pick a different color here. Let's go, let's go red. All right, so we're going to change everything in this template to red. So we've got our background glow changed. And then we're going to work our way up. And whenever you see a color overlay that has an eyeball next to it, that means that that's something we're going to want to change. Now, if you notice, the right and left smoke has a color overlay already on them. However, it's not active. This is if you want to color color your smoke, okay? So we're going to, I'm going to show you how that works. If we just click right here next to the word color overlay, it's going to turn on the smoke. And then you can change different colors of that. Now on this one, if you want to change how that lays out, all we need to do is double click on color overlay, and then we can change our blend mode for the color that we have selected here. So if we're going to go red again, let's go ahead and change this over to red. And now let's play with our color blend modes. I like to just select one and then just start hitting the down arrow to scroll through all of the different options until I find one that looks right. So I'm looking for something that's going to have that red but still have that white smoke look on it. And sometimes some of this is not going to look like it's doing anything. So there we go, an overlay. That's the option I'm going to choose. I'm going to hit OK. And there we have the overlay, so we have that red glow coming in from the smoke, but we still have the whiteness of it here. Now, if you want to automatically copy that layer style over to the left side smoke, right-click over here in the dead spot of the layer and say Copy Layer Style. Right-click on the left smoke layer and say Paste Layer Style. And that's automatically going to make the same layer style appear over on the left. So that's how we can add that. And I'm going to leave that there because I kind of like how that looks. 
All right, so we're going to go all the way up again until we see another one, and we see court color. So just like on the tennis court, we can also change the basketball court's color. The color overlay is right here. We're just going to double click on color overlay, and here's our color selection. Double click here, or just single click. Select our new color, hit OK, and hit OK. Now we've changed our court to, to red. We're going to keep moving our way up, and we have our number. Now you can see our number is colored, so that means that we're going to go to our character again, and we're going to click on the color for the character, and choose red. We're going to keep moving our way up, until we see another color overlay or adjustment layer and we have our light beams. So just like we did in the previous template we can switch this over to red and that changed this light beam over here. We'll go ahead and change the next one. And then we have a light beam up here And then we have the last name. And with that, we're going to go back to our character again, color for the character, and choose red. So now we've changed that template all the way over to a different color. That is the fast break template. Go ahead and close this one. We'll move to the next. The next one we have in the new MVP series is going to be Friday Night Lights. This is our football template. We've got our nice football stadium in the background. We have our grass back here, and everything's kind of subdued, but has this nice red tone to it. So we're going to change this over to a different color. We'll start down here at the bottom again. I always work my way up. We have our hue and saturation right here. We'll double click on that, and we'll move this to, let's go green. Actually, let's go blue on this one. There we go. Now it's changed everything to blue. This is one of the easiest ones to change colors for because there's not very many color changing things we have to take care of. Okay, then we're going to move our way up. Our number is not colored, so we can skip past that. Our last name is. So we're going to click on this, go to character, click on our color, and we'll pick a nice light blue color. And then we have our light beams again. So we just double click on that, change this over to blue. And there's that beam there. And I'm doing a 220, so I'm going to remember 220 all the way up. So 220. Go to the next one, 220, and that was the two lights here, here at the top. And before we get to the other two things we have to change here, I'm just going to go ahead and keep going with my light flares. 220, and 220. Now the other thing that's colored here obviously is this box and you can see down here where it says name box. Now this is a shape. So what we're going to do to change a shape color is on this icon right here we're going to double click. And that's going to bring up the color picker for the shape right here. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to color pick right off the name here. There we go. Blue. And hit OK. And that is how we change the Friday night lights over to a different color. Okay. So moving on, let's go over to Honeycomb, the next one on the series. This one is more of a non-sport specific design, so this could really work for anything. It doesn't matter what sport it is, it doesn't have to be football, it can be any sport that would like that uh, design. So we're going to start here at the bottom again, and we have our background texture with the hue and saturation once again. And we'll move this one over to green this time. That was pretty easy. That's all we got to do. At this point, it's just doing the light bursts again. So we come up to our light bursts. Uh, we have a hue and saturation on the layer of the of the number, actually. 
So I'll come over here, change that. Keep moving up. We have our light beam. And we'll keep doing our light beams. Again, just clicking on the circle. And there we go. We have that one switched over to green. Very simple. The honeycomb does not take a lot of effort to do a whole lot of things on this one. And to uh, put your own player in there, obviously, uh, you would just remove this player and drag and drop your player already extracted right in here. Okay, so let's move on to Hot Streak, which is the next in the line. This one has almost no color change to it because it is a fire scene. So you're not going to, wa going to want to change a lot of colors on this one um, just because of that. So the only color changing on this template that you really need to worry about is going to be this light bur burst up here at the top. And that is what we've already talked about, just a hue and saturation color, just like that. And then we have the other two light bursts down here at the bottom. that we can switch over. Now this one, a lot of the fire is actually in different pieces. So if you want to reduce how much fire you actually have on the poster, you can take some fire off. So if you only wanted to have fire over here on this side, you could. You can even take the middle one off. Now you only have fire over here in the corner. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's move on. The next one is our play ball, which is our baseball. And this one has is is very black and white, but it has the color changing is going to be the exact same as the other ones. Uh, we have our text color changing and our burst color changing. Uh, we also have the bar, which is a color change like we did before, clicking on the thumbnail here. And we can change this over. We'll do this over to blue. We have our hue and saturation for our burst here. That will change over. We have another one up here at the top. We have our last name, which will be a character color once again. And we have our jersey number, which is also a character color. And that's it. That's all you got to do to change colors on the uh, play ball template. So moving on over to Spike. This was very popular when we leaked this one to our Facebook page. And if you're not a fan of our Facebook page yet, uh, make sure you become a fan of uh, our Facebook page, Spotlight Photographics. Uh, when anything new comes out, I always leak that over there onto our Facebook page so that you can see uh, new designs before they're actually released. So you can be first to get them and I'll always first to know when they're coming. So, uh, But this one was very popular, had a lot of likes, a lot of hits. Um, and this one is a very, one, very simple one to change just like the other ones. And this one actually uses that color uh, overlay on the smoke that we showed you in that first, um, first set, set of template uh, design that we showed you a minute ago. So on this one, we're going to do our smoke. And to change our color overlay, we will double click on color overlay and we can change this over. We'll go back to, we'll do green on this one here. We'll just hit OK. Same thing for this one. Color overlay. Go green again. And now it's simply changing the colors of the text. So we'll select our jersey number, come up to our color, change that over to green, come up to our name, change that one also to green, and then our light burst here. We will double click on the circle and change that to green as well. So there we go. Oh, we also have these two down here at the bottom. Almost missed those.
Now you may ask me why why did I not make all of the bursts just one layer? Well, if I did that, you wouldn't be able to remove them. So for example, say you didn't want this one down here. You can turn it off. Actually, I turned that one off. Say you didn't want this one. You can turn that one off. So that way you can turn them off, you can move them around. Say for example that, you know, you wanted this one right here, you'd like this one to be we'll say a little bit more over here. There you go. So that's why everything's not just one layer. That's why you do have to do these individually. All right, we've changed that one over to green. Very simple. All right, let's move over to Striker. Here's our Striker template. And this one has the same color on the smoke. And if you notice, I actually did a little bit different here. I put some black smoke over here to kind of give it some more grunge look at the bottom. If you want to turn that back to white, all you have to do is invert the color of this layer. On a PC, that would be Control-I. I just have to make sure I'm on the right ones here. I've got a couple of ones down there, so we'll do Control-I on this one and Control-I on this one. So now we have these set over to white. So that's how you would change those over to white if you want it to be white like the other ones are. We'll do the same thing over here. Control I, and there we go. So if you want it to be a little bit brighter, then invert those back to white, and you'll have those there. It's not a color overlay trick. It's just simply the smoke inverted to black. So on this, we're going to do the same thing. We have our light beams again. So we'll switch these over, and let's uh, do a contrast. We'll do red on this one. So there's red up here now. We have our last name, which is a character color. Change that to red. And we have our jersey. We will change that text color over to red. And then we have our smoke. Now you'll see that, like I said before, there are some that do not have the color overlay active. You're looking for the active color overlays. So we're going to double click on color overlay, change this over to red, and change the other one over to red. All right, we got that switched over to red on those. Now we have to do the ones over here in the corner. Let's do the light bursts. And then the word center. All right, there we go. It's all ready for a red jersey uh, player. And now this one is got a lacrosse person on it. But if you notice, it's very nonspecific in the background. Yes, we have the stadium back here. Yeah, we have a net kind of up here, and we have the grass. This also works for soccer. So if you're looking for soccer, this is the same template. I could have made another one and put soccer players on it and then just called it a different name, but this one works for both soccer and lacrosse. So if you're looking for soccer, grab this one, and you can do lacrosse and soccer on the same template. Pretty cool. All right, moving over to main stage. Actually, let's go to Top Gear first. Top Gear is another non-specific. This one does not have a lot of color uh, changing on it. It does have the name, and I do want to show this, because this name has a little bit more done to it than the other ones did. This actually has a stroke color. So if we double-click on stroke, we can change the stroke color to a different color. So we'll go green, and you can see it changed that up there. So that is how you change the color, is on the stroke. And then we also have our human saturations once again for our light beams. Again, it's just clicking on that circle on the human saturation layer and dragging our bar over to the color we want. And then there's one other thing that I've added to this template. If you want a lot of color in this and you don't like the black and white, I've added one last thing down here at the very bottom, and you'll see background color. You'll notice that the eyedropper is not active. If you activate this, it will put a color in the background. 
If you want to change that color, you just double click on the color here and then select your color and set OK. And that's how you add color to the background for this poster. Changes the look of it completely with color. I like it without the color, but I knew some of you would probably like to have more color on the poster. So that's how we do that with this, de with this design, is simply this one that's already deactivated, but it is down here at the bottom. Just activate it and choose your color. All right, so we're going to move over to our last of the 10. And we're going to go to the main stage. Now this one can be used for cheerleading. It can be used for dance. It can be used for all of those different uh, uh, girls' sports. And it's very easy to use. This one is going to use the same things. This has a little bit more color changes to it. But we have hue and saturations right here. So we'll do the right burst. We'll change it over to green. We'll change the left one over to green. We'll change the color overlay of the smoke. Go ahead and change it over to green. Another color overlay. Working my way up. I'm not going to really care too much what it's looking like yet until I get to the end. Because some layers may affect others. So we're just going to work our way up and every color that is blue that I want to change to green is what I'm going to be doing right now. So don't get too concerned if something's not looking good yet. All right, we're going to keep working our way up. Here's another one. This is a hue and saturation color change. And then we have our floor lights. Now with the floor lights, I, l I wanted to show you something. If for some reason something's colored, for example, you can see this has got a blue hue to it, and you want to add a hue and saturation to this, simply come down to another one and right-click on the name and say, duplicate layer and say OK. That's going to duplicate exactly what that was. Bring it up above the layer that you want it to be for. Right click over here in this area and say create clipping mask. And now it's changed those to green. Okay. Now all we have to do is change one more thing here in the background. We have another, we have our light beams. And we skipped over one was the stars in the background. There we go, the stars. And this is another one. We're going to take our hue and saturation, drag it down. Now the one that you're going to get, you're going to have this already in there. And now they're green. Okay, and then we just change our name. It's a character color. There we go. All the way over to green. So that is the MVP series. These are, like I said, player banners. These are going to look really cool up at the schools, uh, around the stadiums and the gymnasiums, all those places. Um, I think these are going to be a really big hit in your market. If you have any questions, you can always reach me by email by submitting your email on our website by clicking on the Contact Us button in the top right-hand corner under the Help tab of PhotosolutionsMarket.com. Again, my name was Sean with PhotoSolutionsMarket.com and Spotlight Photographics. Thank you again for coming by, and I hope you enjoy the new MVP banner series.